Hey guys, it's a beautiful day today and we are in the Key Mountain Range at the Kawaii campsite, which is a pretty damn awesome place. And I found that out yesterday because I thought this place looked familiar. I've seen it somewhere before and I have. And so that's why I'm wearing this shirt today because I don't know if you guys recognize this sign, 500 yen camping, like five bucks per night. And there's a bridge over here, because this place is where you go if you want to dig your own onsen. And as far as I remember, a few guys inspired me to do that. Um, so yeah, we are here to dig our own onsen, or at least go swimming in the river. And I looked up the departures episode uh, from the nature part of Japan, I think it's number eight, looked it up yesterday because my Japanese friends me my Japanese friend Miho has Wi-Fi. Never done camping with Wi-Fi before, but it's actually pretty awesome. And the reason why I walked over here was because look at this bridge. Yup. I actually found out that this is where Justin Scott and Andre and Neil camped when they wanted to do their onsen. So I was, I was pretty hyped about that when I found out. Um, I think it's really, really awesome that I came here. And it wasn't even on purpose. Like, they inspired me to do this. Like, go here and try the onsen. But I didn't expect to end up at the exact same campsite. That's pretty damn awesome, in my opinion. But, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy uh, that I'm here right now. That's really good. And that's why I'm wearing my Departures t-shirt today. And we set up camp last night, or just before it got dark, and went to the convenience store, got some beer. Um, but I'm actually feeling pretty good today, considering how much we drank yesterday. But it's, it's an awesome day, so that's why. And we're the only people here. And like always, vending machines. Water your best friend in the morning, beer just to demonstrate how easy it is and just to copy Justin a little bit I'm gonna do the karate chop okay got my money all you do is there you go and you pick a beer like that karate chop and change And thus, we have beer. That's awesome. We don't have beer vending machines at home. So sad. We should have vending machines because they're freaking awesome. And our tent is over here. And the girls are eating breakfast. Yeah, I'm here with Christine, my really good friend from gymnasium, which is a thing you do in Denmark before before you can go to university. And Miko, my Japanese friend. And she's so handy to have around sometimes because we don't understand anything. Sometimes it's really bad, even though I know a lot of words, but yeah. Morning, guys. <laughs> I know you love the camera, Miko. I know you love it. You ready for the onsen? Yeah, sure. Yes, I'm wearing the departure shirt. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. It's good. Like the water? Yeah, it's good. It's good for me. It's good for you. And so, is this is the river. I'm not exactly sure which way we're supposed to go. I think maybe it gets hot both ways, but I was done checking the temperature yesterday and it's not hot right here. It's pretty cold, so we'll have to go for a little walk. But in the video, it just seemed like the guys walked just a short walk. I can't remember if it was up that way uh, from the bridge or if it was this way, but I think 
it's the other way actually. I'm not 100% sure though, but we're gonna go looking and see if we can find our own onsen. That would be awesome. And we're just so lucky with the weather. We've had one rainy day in Japan. And generally on the whole trip, like of course in Bali it, in Indonesia it wouldn't, it doesn't rain much, but we did have a little bit of rain, but it wasn't like a problem. We've only had, yeah, that one day with rain when we were in Hiroshima. And that's about it. And no, yeah. So it's really, really good. We've been very lucky with the weather. And today is an awesome day.